Hey, hello there, welcome back to the channel, and here we are today in Timberborn. Uh, this, uh, this is quite a new game, uh, I've been playing it for a little while, and we are starting a new settlement today. And the main reason for that is that, quite frankly, my first settlement turned out to be something of a disaster, as it often does when you first start playing a new game. So it took me quite a while to learn what I was doing, and I still hadn't really worked it out, but I would got to that stage where I felt the easiest and best thing to do would be to start from scratch, having learned hopefully quite a few new ideas of what uh, what I need to do and how to do certain things. So actually, I'm just going to pause the game while we're uh, while while I'm randomly nattering away. Um, so yeah, I think um, I think the best thing to do is to start uh, a fresh game on a fresh map. Uh, so this is the map called Lakes, and it certainly seems to have. Uh, lots of water on it which is good and lots of water means lots of nice fertile land so that's promising so the main things that I had issues with in in my last game uh, were the main thing was the whole district center idea but I think I've kind of figured that out now so but that's a long way off that's not going to happen for quite some time yet so I'm not too fussed about that uh, let's get it going now um, and what else was I having issues with? Um, oh, the forestry huts. I think, by the sounds of it, it was a bit of a bug with that. And you just have to be very careful when you place an item down that you check the boundaries of where um, where it can... Um, like with, with, with a forester, for example, you have to check the boundaries of where it's going to be able to, uh, to farm from. That's uh, sort of basically the idea. So, for example, this one here, you can see as you move it around, that border is moving. So if I put it down here, it wouldn't be able to get to the trees in the, in the top there. So you have to at least make sure that everything is in the right place as you place it down, which I wasn't really paying attention to before. Uh, so really, uh, let's just get that popped down. It's saying I ought to have two of them, so I will. And... Of course, every time you start a new game, you have to you start without any research, so you will have to um, to get all these things researched as quickly as possible. Let's go like that for now. <clears throat> right, so we have. Uh, wood cutters to select uh, to collect wood for us. We are going to need housing, and I will get on with that pretty quickly. So housing, I'm going to try and work out how I can do some sort of raised thing with housing. Although actually, until I research stairs, I can't really do that anyway. Uh, how quickly can I get going with science? Actually, I can I can get going with science straight away. So I'm going to do that because it's very very handy. Uh, to have uh, science, i.e. research points, quite early on. <coughs> um, how do I want to do this? Uh, not that close. Let's get him on the corner there. To start with. Nothing to do in range. Oh, I haven't selected. Um, every, every building with an interrupt is connected to the district centre with a path, I've done that, yeah, mark trees for cutting, yeah, so here we go, so this is here, mark cutting area, so let's just go with all of that, and eventually I will, hopefully once, if I can get this built quickly and get researching, then my plan is to very quickly research foresters and to plant maple trees because they they may take the longest to um, to grow but once you've got them growing they give you an awful lot of wood so that is my plan um, oh oh no that's the wrong way around isn't it uh, right so let's see where I want to build a couple of these can I fit yeah well let's just get the one for now <clears throat> Let's get you connected up. I'm going to make this one my priority. And 
Let's also look at housing. So yeah, the first two things I want to research really are stairs and uh, the Forester. So Forester first, I think. I only need 60 for that, so that's not too bad. So yeah, in fact I won't go with housing just yet. I think I will let this get built. Uh, in fact I can go with one house. So what I want to try and do with housing is to create tower blocks so that they don't take up too much space. And I think to do that I probably need to give it a bit of space out like this because then I've got room around it to build um, stairways. In fact I think it probably only needs to be one out like that. Do I want to do it over here? Because obviously you've got nice lush land here so you've got food that will come from these berry trees you've got trees that can come from here and you've got a bit of land here which is why I would want to plant some crops so I don't really want to use any of that land so yes I think what I will do is do a housing block over here if I can figure it out I think there would be a good spot because it gives me a, a bit of space all around it to work on how I'm going to connect it up with some raised, um, some raised pathways. I think I've, I've got a basic idea of how to do it by stacking another one on top. So for example, if you put one on top there, you then have to have a stairway coming up the side and then a flat piece and a flat piece. And then you could do another stair and a flat and a flat. If you, you know, turn, turn the next one that way and then the next one that way. And you can create a sort of a, a spiral effect of stairways going up around the outside. And I have no idea how tall you can make these. But it'll be interesting to find out. So that's what I'm going to do. Because ground space is quite limited really um, until you really start expanding. So you want to build upwards as much as you can. Obviously not all buildings can go upwards. In fact, that one, that, so that is solid. Obviously that one isn't. I wonder if you could build a science one on top of a house. Yes, you can. That's interesting. That might be worth considering once you get a housing stack quite high, cap it off with a science. Maybe. Certainly worth considering. Um, Let's just speed the game up a little bit, get things going. It's quite slow at the start, um, so it would be a good idea to get this just speeding along a bit. Actually, while I'm thinking about it, let's go for a gatherer over here somewhere. So if I can, I put that. Actually, let's put that here. I reckon. Yeah, let's go with that there. Ah, good. Let's slow it down again. So, my science place is built and it has a worker in it straight away. Good. So I'm going <coughs> to, excuse me, I'm going to start generating some good science. Um, we obviously need logs down here. Let me just prioritize that first so that gets built as quickly as possible. Definitely going to need Oh, is that growing? It is growing. That's yeah, interesting. I'm going to run out of logs pretty quickly by the looks of it. I can potentially come over to here. Although, how do I can I build paths over the water yet? No, because that is a different thing, isn't it? Let's just get rid of that. Um, is that yeah? Uh, that's that one, isn't it? A raised platform yeah so I can't go over the river yet I can come up here so that's good because there's some some stairways here that already lead up to these trees so if necessary what I'll do is tell this lot to get this is once I've got a forester done I'll demolish this lot and turn this into a nice field of maple trees <clears throat> and then I will put a new cutter up here to work on this and hopefully this will keep me going long enough for my maple trees to have been built. That's the plan. Whether it works or not, we will have to wait and see. Transport goods between warehouses when I do. Yeah, that's fine. Right, how are we looking here? Nearly done with our logs. Here comes our last one. 
and hopefully a builder will go along and sort that out. This guy is out collecting berries already, that's brilliant. So do we have storehouses straight away? Yes, we have a log pile and we have a small warehouse. Oh, log piles don't cost anything, so I should get one of them in here. Do I want it right in there? No, I don't. I want it probably over here. Again, I don't want to take up any fertile land. So let's get the log pile in here somewhere. But where? Don't want to squash everything. I don't, you know, I don't want. I don't want to squeeze things in too much. I'd, I'd like to create a bit of a bit of room for stuff out and about. So let's go with a little log pile there, with a pathway there. So what does that need? Oh, it doesn't need anything. It just needs time and a builder. So that's fine. Let's just speed it up through the night. So my people are going to be homeless for a little while, unfortunately. But I don't think that matters too much. So yeah, they don't have any shelter. But they're getting sleep and they'll they'll get food and drink soon. In fact, they're getting food, aren't they? Because they can take the berries from there. Yeah, and they can take the water from there. You don't have to store it. So that's, that's fine. Uh, build a gatherer flag. I've done. Build a farmhouse. Okay, well, I'd rather they worry about building some of this stuff first. So I'll let them focus on... Uh, I will let them focus on building this house first, I think. Um, let's have a look. Farmhouse. So that needs two workers. So I'm already getting quite low on workers. See, this is the problem. Um, you end up running out of people very quickly so really housing is the way to go right let me speed this up again because they're getting food and they're getting water that's all they need so I can just speed this along until I can research some other things uh, because of obviously I've got my science guy going so I'm getting some science points and it doesn't take too long really There, we have one house. Unfortunately, we need a lot more than one house to get more workers. But that's fine. Okay, let's go with the farmhouse. Let's get it going. Uh, I've got to remember how to do a farmhouse. I think you plonk it down. Let's put it in the corner there. And then you have to tell, uh, you have to designate an area for crops. So, what do we want? Carrots, I guess, are the most basic. So, let's just go with that. Let's keep it simple. So, yeah, logs are very low. Ah, because there's nothing to chop. Okay. Slow down. Right, you pause production and you pause production. And let's get you up here. So let's get a couple of uh, these lumberjack places up here. Let's do that. Let's get a path coming up there. I'm hoping that, well, I assume that's what those stairways are for. They do actually act as paths. So hopefully my people can, I mean, obviously they can get up there to build. I'm hoping it actually works as a transport route. And then my two unemployed lumberjacks can go and work up here. Nothing to do in range. Oh, yes, again, I haven't hold them where to cut have I right get cutting in here nice yeah there we go right so I'm gonna be getting some more logs from up there now that's good my berry picker has filled up but that's okay as long as people have got food so if you go up here hunger yes hunger's 
thirst and sleep is fine. Shelter is the next thing. Um, kind of need more science though. I'm tempted to just build another science house actually. There we go, let's do it. Early in the game, science is very important. It allows you to progress much quicker. Blimey, that needs 25 logs. You know, I'm going to prioritise that first because they're getting food from their from the berries. They don't need the carrots straight away, so I'm not going to worry too much about uh, about the farmhouse. That can happen as and when. For now, I just need them to chop as many logs as possible so that I can research the forester which needs 60 so I'm over halfway already that's good and then hopefully this forest here will have regrown a little bit and I can get some more logs from over here so what I'll do once once this is regrown I will shut down these two temporarily move those two people over to here let them chop down all this again and then I'll get my forester in place can't get all the required materials why are you storing them silly people let's just speed it through the night oh they are very cute aren't they when they sleep on the ground poor things they're not getting any shelter I feel so guilty that's a lie I don't feel guilty There we go, we're getting there. Looks quite funny going, it's going fast. We're on 42 science, so we are getting close. Nice, there's our second science building. That's going to speed things up very nicely indeed. Our farmhouse is nearly halfway. 51 science doesn't take long at all actually does it oh night time again I do like all the names oh excuse me for yawning do apologize right you what have we got mesel Cree and yera edgy that's a cool name isn't it edgy nearly there one more lot and I can unlock forestry yeah forestry there we go right let's get it done let's unlock oh hang on what did that need oh it needs planks damn okay I'm gonna need a lumber mill first okay well let's unlock it at least so it's it's ready to go because yeah I will build you over there uh, but I am going to need a lumber mill so let's get a lumber mill in here somewhere and a lumber mill is going to need power which I will attempt to get from uh, oh, hopefully a windmill if I oh, can't unlock windmills yet right that's an issue right in that case my my thing has to go down here and I have to do a water wheel. Actually, there's a power wheel. Beaver operated. Offers 50. How much does my lumber mill need? It needs 50. Right, let's do that. So I will build you up here. That makes sense. Build it right next to the log store. And then I will build one of these right next to it. I love the idea of this. That looks so funny. I haven't done one of these before, but uh, basically it's just a massive hamster wheel, but for beavers. And it powers whatever it's attached to, so there we go. That's awesome. What does that need? Logs. Great. Ah, oh, look at that. We have... We have a farmhouse operating. That's nice. And we're going to need 15 logs for that. Oh my word, 40 logs. 
Whew, that's a lot of logs. Are people best get cutting. Okay, that's fine. I can I can deal with that. I need my science guys to go. Once I've got my science um, up to what do I need? I need stairs. Once I've got 70 science, I'll shut down my science things temporarily just so I get my two workers back because I'll need them to go into my uh, my sawmill here and eventually my my forester's hut. Let's get my forester's hut in. Uh, I want you to I want you to look nice. That looks good there. I reckon. Let's get you connected up. Obviously, it can't be built yet because I'm not making any uh, planks. And tell you what, let's get one of them going. That's good because that, that's got that. Uh, I had one spare man, or one spare beaver, I should say. So I might as well get him going and at least chopping down some extra logs over there. Building needs power, yeah. Ooh, that's a lot of logs needed in there. Never mind, I'm getting plenty of logs now. <clears throat> Let's just speed the game up again. Let's get things buzzing along. Of course, all of this is just so that I can build or try to build a, a, a sort of a, a spiral staircase and do some more housing. I just want to build a massive skyscraper. Plant carrots. All right, not quite finished planting the carrots, but I think I've put enough there. Yes, here we go. They are planting carrots. Ah, no, I need another four. So let's do. Let's do just one more row down the side there. There we go. Warehouse and water tank. Yeah, that's fine. I can get on with those at some point. This, I'm leaving these tips here. I don't really need them, but it's just reminding me of the next sort of important things to do. So I don't mind that. It's quite handy, really. So I'm trying to leave this land free, this other irrigated land here, because what I might do eventually is put some more farmland in these two areas here, because there are other crops. You've got uh, potatoes and wheat eventually as well. So I'm, yeah, I might, I might plant more, because I don't, th I don't think you need to have sort of one farmhouse looking after a certain amount of land. I think you can just leave that farmhouse and just keep on planting crops, and they'll just go out and harvest all of it. I believe that's how it works. Building lacks workers. Who's that? Ah, okay. Yes, I am lacking workers, unfortunately. I've got lots of carrots there. Are they all in there? No, I haven't actually got any goods in stock. It says I've got... Oh, no, it's berries, of course. Blimey, where are my berries? I can't have 234 berries because my storehouse has only got 20. Is he... I don't know. Maybe that's... In in here, maybe? Ah, oh, yes, you start with berries and you start with water. Okay, that's fine. That makes sense. Oh, look, I've got loads of logs. Ah, I've got a problem now. My hamster... Sorry, my beaver wheel is there, uh, but I don't have... Um, I don't have a worker for it, so... Ah, I can now unlock... Stairs. Great. Right, let's just slow this down. So let's pause for now. I will pause both of them. There we go. So I've got a worker in there now. So it means. Oh, can't wait to see that. Oh, that's brilliant. He's just walking around. That's awesome. Right, so this is now going to work, but obviously it only works during the daytime because they're all sleeping at night, so that's fine. But then it's, you know, the, the, the carpenter's sleeping at night as well as the, the guy in the wheel, so yeah, I, I love this. <laughs> it's such a clever idea, isn't it? Absolutely brilliant. A little bit odd that that's turning clockwise and that one's going anti-clockwise, but hey-ho, let's not worry too much about little graphical things, eh? 
Anyway, um, oh, logs are looking good. Look at that. We've got 42 odd logs sitting around. That's fantastic. Right, so let's have a look at getting this, uh, this path structure in place. So I think what I need to do is that. Oh, no, I need that, don't I? Because I need to build a platform for the pathway to go on. Oh, man. Okay, I'm going to need my science. Let's shut down a couple, yeah, let's shut down the lumberjacks. And let's open up the science. Oh, I thought I was oh, I thought I was getting going then. Oh no, someone's died of old age as well. That's not good, is it? I'm hoping someone might have a baby at some point. Maybe I Maybe I've just got to bite the bullet and build more housing. Maybe I could build more housing and then eventually delete it. Maybe I should just do that. Let's just bite the bullet and just build some housing like this. Because you've got to have spare space for uh, for them to start breeding. So if I build four of those, that's three each. So that's twelve plus three so 15 and I've got 10 people at the moment so it'll give me an extra five people so yeah let's do that let's prioritize that one and then that one so that it's uh, you know so they're focused on one at a time oh dear it's all just gone a little bit wrong there but that's fine we're getting there I mean I'm organized this time at least I know what I need to build even if it's not happening very fast. Um, so what have I done here? No unemployed people, yeah. How many do I need in each of these? 12 in each of those. Yeah, I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna leave one lumberjack going. So these guys are just sitting around at the moment because the carrots aren't growing. Well, they are growing, but they're not being picked yet, so. That's fine. Hmm. Okay. We're doing okay. We're doing absolutely fine. I do feel more organized because obviously I'm not learning the game this time as I go along. So I, I know the basics at least. And it's all about design this game, isn't it? I can, I can see that now. It's all about planning ahead. And it's it's there's a lot involved in building upwards rather than outwards because of course if you build outwards you've got to do more districts whereas if you build upwards you can use one district for a lot longer in the game so that's why i really want to do these tower blocks of housing that go straight up rather than out there we go there's one built oh, shouldn't take too long let's speed the game up shouldn't take too long to get these built and then i should start having babies to replace all my my dead people, I've only had one person grow uh, grow or, or die of old age so far, but there's bound to be more. I kind of like that that all shuts down at night. Planks five. Okay, so that that is getting built. That's fine. Let's just speed it along. I'm assuming they take the water from here when they need it. I haven't really noticed them coming along and getting a drink, but I assume that's what happens. All right, that's two houses built. And this one's getting there. My log pile is going down very quickly, unfortunately, but that's not a big surprise. Well, I've got my stairways built at least. My little stairway to heaven. <laughs> it's getting there. It's almost a tower block, isn't it? That's three built. Ah, oh, the last one might take a bit longer because I've run out of logs again. And there's not a lot regrowing over here. So, do you know what? I might shut that down. And reopen that one. There better be an unemployed beaver. 
<clears throat> if not, I want to know where he's gone. Where's he gone? Oh, I didn't want him to go in there. No, he didn't go in there. What? Oh, I'm very confused. I shut down one of these. I should have had someone appear up there. The BBs are happier than ever. You have reached a new well-being high score. Five. Okay. I don't know how they're happy, really. Oh, I suppose they've got everything they need there. Um, where did my guy go? Hang on. This this is this is really confusing me. Farmhouse two. Gather a flag. That's my berry. Inventors. Lumber mill. Power mill. Water pump. I have no idea what's happened there. I had a spare person, and he's just disappeared. They have had a baby, so I've got a I've got a baby on the way. That's good. But I've definitely only had one die of old age. I've got eleven people. Somehow, someone has vanished. I don't know where they went. Maybe it was one of my inventors. No. No, I don't know what happened there. I'll have to watch the video back and see. <laughs> Obviously, I'm recording this, so I'll be able to look back and see where they disappeared to. But I don't think they went anywhere, because all of that was full up already. Uh, it's a bit of a mystery, that. Very strange. I could probably lose one of these guys, actually. Maybe I'll just have one worker in there. Because um, the, the, I've got plenty of carrots. I'd rather... Yeah, there we go. So he can go up there and get me some logs. Uh, science wise I'm nearly there. I need oh no I'm not I need a hundred. So still a little way to go with the science. And then I can unlock this platform. That will also allow me to build over the river if I want to. Which I will want to eventually obviously I want to come and harvest these trees. Um let me have a look at demolishing this lot now. I know I don't have my my thing in there. But I just want to get rid of this lot. So let's let let that happen. And once that's cleared, I can tell this guy to start planting. And he's going to plant maple trees. I've done the research and they give you so many more logs uh, per tree. You get eight logs per tree with maple. So you've got birch takes nine days and it gives you one log. Pine takes 12 days and it gives you two. But this one, look at this. It takes 24 days to grow, but it gives you eight logs. So it's worth the wait. I mean, it's double the time to grow from that but quadruple the amount of logs. So in the long run it's worth it. You've just got to make sure you've got a supply of logs in the meantime and you've got to have a big enough planting area that it kind of looks after itself and that there's always somewhere to harvest once they start growing. So I think what I'll do, I will try and squeeze as much growth in all of this area here as I can. I may even come down here instead of putting farmland in there. I'll, I'll see how it goes. Maybe I'll just do this area for now. Um, eventually these houses will disappear that's my plan because I don't want houses over here this will eventually become some farmland probably I feel like I might condense the berries as well I might actually destroy some of these berries and replant over here I wonder yeah see that can regrow these guys can regrow um, berries as well, can't they? Or is that... Ah, oh, no, it's foresters. I wonder. Let's just... No, see, he can't go over there. That's a shame. Although, do you know what I could do? I could make this area berries and put some trees... Uh, not some trees, some farmland in there because this dude, these farmers, 
can harvest over there. And this forester could plant berries in here. It's an interesting thought. Because once he's planted all these maple trees, he's going to have a lot of spare time. That's my theory anyway, so yeah, I might look into that. For now, what am I waiting for now? I'm just waiting for my science, I think, to go up. Obviously I've got one more house being built. Which will give me another three capacity. So at the moment I've got 11, with one of them being a child, and I've got a capacity of 12. So I've still got room for one more baby, uh, but, but this will give me another three. So that'll be really good. This lot is getting destroyed. It's it's slow going, unfortunately. Um, so who are you actually? Is it the builders that do that? Yeah, it works at the district centre. So and you as well, I'm guessing. Yeah. So it's builders that do the demolishing as well. That's interesting. But then if they're not building, then which they're not, because this this place isn't really getting going at the moment. Oh look, there's a little young one. Just wandering around. Oh, he's just gone into the farm. What's he doing in there? Little scallywag. Right, we are making progress. Do you know what? I'm going to call it a day there for this first episode. I, don't, I want to keep this series um, short. About half an hour to 40 minutes per episode. I don't think, I don't think they need to be any longer than that. So that's my aim. I think uh, I appreciate that a few of my previous Timberborn episodes were probably a bit too long. Uh, but I kind of get carried away once I get into these games. And I completely lose track of time. So let's uh, let's call it a day there for our first episode. Um, I think you'll see that I'm, I'm doing much better this time. And I kind of know what I'm doing now. So hopefully this city can go on and on and on. And will become bigger and more spectacular over the next... Uh, ooh... 100 or, or more episodes. Let's let's go for that. Let's make it a long series, shall we? So it's going to it's going to be uh whoo, it's going to be fun. But for now, let's leave it there. So thank you very much uh, for joining me in this first new episode of in, in our new town. Oh, this is called Logville by the way. I, I called this city Logville. I don't think it actually says that anywhere on the screen, does it? No. But I did. I called it Logville. So there we go. So this is uh, this is our new series here in Timberborn. So thank you very much. Hopefully you can join me again very soon. Until then, do take care. I'll see you soon.